1. Federer shocked by Dimitrov five-time U.S. Open champion Roger Federer is out of the New York Grand Slam after losing a five-set thriller against Grigor Dimitrov in the quarterfinals. See related Bulgarian Dimitrov shocked the 20-time Grand Slam champion by winning 3-6, 6-4, 3-6, 6-4. 6-2, third seed Federer said, I feel low. I'm disappointed it is over because I feel as I though I was playing well. It is a missed opportunity. I thought if I could get through I'd have two days off after. With Federer and Novak Djokovic now out of the US Open, Rafael Nadal is the last of the big three left in the tournament. Nadal faces Diego Schwartzman in the quarterfinals tomorrow morning. 1.15 a.m. UK time. Dimitrov will play Russia's Daniil Medvedev in the semi-finals on Friday.2. Conta proud despite defeat British No. 1 Joanna Conta was proud of her performance at the US Open despite losing 6-4, 6-4 in the quarterfinals against Helena Svitolina. Conta has reached the last eight of the three previous Grand Slams and she said, it's nice to feel that I've still got room to just get better in the sport. It is the best I have done so far in my career so there is a lot to be proud of there. It is just part of the sport, only one person ends up not losing. Everyone else does lose at some point. Six-time U.S. Open champion Serena Williams is through to the last four after thrashing China's Wang Chang 6-1, 6-0. In the women's singles semi-finals Williams will face Vitolina on Friday. 3. Miss Valens Pakistan top job The Pakistan Cricket Board, PCB, has named Miss Baal Haq as the national side's head coach and chief selector. ESPN Crisinfo reports that Miss Ba, Pakistan's most successful test captain, will be reunited with Wakar Yonis who has been named bowling coach. 4. Wenger could manage at the 2022 World Cup Former Arsenal boss Arsene Wenger says he could manage an international team at the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. The Frenchman, 69, told Bind Sports, I could see myself working for a team. I must say I always wanted to go to the World Cup because I felt it is the job of a manager to be where the best football players in the world play football. Hopefully, you will see me, touch wood in Qatar in three years time. 5. Inter fans group defend Lukaku chanting Inter Milan fans group Curvinor has said that the racist abuse and monkey chants directed at Romelu Lukaku by Colliery supporters was a form of respect. The group said in a statement, You have to understand that Italy is not like many other North European countries where racism is a real problem. We understand that it could have seemed racist to you but it is not like that. In Italy we use some ways only to help our teams and to try to make our opponents nervous, not for racism but to mess them up. Please consider this attitude of Italian fans, as a form of respect for the fact they are afraid of you for the goals you might score against their teams and not because they hate you or they are racist. 6. F2 driver Correa moved to UK hospital Formula 2 driver Juan Manuel Correa, who was injured in the accident that killed Anthayne Hubert at the Belgian Grand Prix, will continue his recovery in a British hospital. The 20-year-old suffered a spinal injury and broken legs in the incident at Spa. 7. United plot shock move for Ericsson Manchester United are primed to launch a shock swoop for Christian Ericsson in the January transfer window. The Tottenham playmaker was heavily linked to Real Madrid last month but a move to the Spanish capital failed to materialize before the European transfer window closed on Monday. United are now assembling a lucrative package that they hope will secure the services of the 27-year-old Dane. Premier League Arsenal in good financial health after ditching flops 8. McAnally to captain Scotland at Rooks Scotland head coach Gregor Townsend has announced his 31-man squad for the Rugby World Cup, which starts this month. The Scots, who play in Pool A with host nation Japan, Russia, Ireland and Samoa, 
will be captained by Edinburgh hooker Stuart McAnally. Scotland squad for the Rugby World Cup forwards, John Barkley, Simon Bergen, Fraser Brown, Scott Cummings, Alan Dell, Xander Fagerson, Grant Gilchrist, Johnny Gray, Stuart McAnally, Captain, W. P. Nell, Gordon Reid, Jamie Ritchie, Blade Thompson, Ben Tullis, George Turner, Hamish Watson, Ryan Wilson Bax, Darcy Graham, Chris Harris, Adam Hastings, Stuart Hogg, George Horn, Peter Horn, Sam Johnson, Blair Kinghorn, Greg Laidlaw, Sean Mayland, Ali Price, Finn Russell, Tommy Seymour, Duncan Taylor 9, who will partner Russell at Williams. Williams Racing F1 Deputy Principal Claire Williams says there are a handful of candidates being considered for the team's 2020 driver lineup. With British racer George Russell confirmed for next season, it's reported that Robert Kubica and reserve driver Nicholas Latoyfi are battling for the final spot. However, Claire Williams says no decision has yet been made, we are looking at the 2020 seat and there's a handful of candidates. F1 Verstappen almost better than Hamilton, says signs JR10. Payne sleepless nights over Stokes Australia captain Tim Payne admits that England star Ben Stokes has given him some sleepless nights since the all-rounders heroics in the third Ashes test. Speaking ahead of today's first day of the fourth test Payne said, I haven't lost a hell of a lot of sleep thinking about my captaincy but I have lost a bit of sleep thinking how we're going to get Stokes out. He's a class player and he's really confident at the moment. He's going well. We've got some plans for him, but we've just got to execute them a bit better. Today's back pages, Ben Stokes gives Aussies a Nash's nightmare let's block ads. Why? 